Hello everyone, I'm Ashutosh, developer at Godspeed. So in the previous video, we have created a to-do app using Godspeed CLI. So in this one, we're gonna see like how we can create to-do app related to thread APIs in maybe less than 10 minutes. So let's get dive into it. So I'm gonna go the previous previously created to-do app. I'm there. I'm gonna open it into a code. Once you'll open your uh, Godspeed project in code, and um, it will ask you to re reopen in container. We'll get there, but before that, let me walk you through what all things are there in the newly created project. So yeah, newly created project ships with config, helm chart, and sources. There are three folders, read, new, etc. or you can update what exactly this project is about. And Config goes all the conflicts related to Helm charge, telemetry, and other things. Helm charts is a telemetry data for if you're gonna deploy it data, a Kubernetes container. And the source is where we have to look for. So any Godspeed project, you know, is a composition of three things. There are events, there are functions, data sources, and a helper thing called mappings. So events is where you define the endpoints of it. It can be a REST endpoint, get it get code post, delete, options, anything. It can be a Kafka source or a Kafka container. So exactly in your service, what is the end point or like how you invoke the service is the event. And events, then there is a function. So functions is where exactly the business logic happens, like calling the database, calling a third party API and everything. And data sources is like, uh, you know, any third party service which provides you to read or write data to it. So in our case, we're gonna use a Postgres. So there will be a Postgres, which is a, a, a database. If you have a third party API, then you can create an API data source. If you have a Kafka, you can create a Kafka data source. If you wanna store and cache things on Redis, you can do that also. So all right. So once you create a new project, it ships with you know some predefined uh, events. So let me let me open a hello world and show you how exactly an event looks like. So event is like the primary key of the YAML file. So all events and functions are in YAML file, even the data sources to define them. So if you see, it starts with the hello world, that will be the endpoint. It is of a HTTP type method, and it's a get verb. And then it calls the com.jfs.hello world functions. It has summary, which goes into the documentation and the description. It produces application slash region type of a content. It takes these parameters and it produces these kind of responses. So yeah, most of the events look like this. And we'll see how we can create a cred to do app cred API. So yeah, for now, I'm going to delete all these events. You want to? We are not going to use all these. Let's go delete all the functions and let's go to the data source. So any database access in God scheme is defined using Prisma configuration. So Prisma is a ORM framework where you can define your models, your, how your database will look like. Prisma will generate a client. Using that, you can, you know, read or write or update your databases. So let's see how a Prisma file looks like. So Prisma file looks like this. So here you define what client needs to be generated. This is like chips by default, no need to tune them back. And this is the provider to the database. Uh, so how, if you wanna see how a Prisma file are defined is you can refer to this documentation on concept components, Prisma client. Not the Prisma client, but let's see if we can Prisma schema. So data model, all right. So this is how your Prisma file looks like, where you define the models. Model is nothing that in terms of you know, SQL database, it's a table, or in no SQL database, it's a collection. So what exactly a document is of form, what format, you define it, then you define models, then you can define what kind of each, you know, each column is of what type, whether it's required, whether it's ID, uh, what should be the strategy to generate the or uh, the default values and everything. So let's start, let's get back to our project and uh, start our to-do app. So let's see what all you need in a model. So let's see, we want a table for tasks. Tasks will have 
task ID, which is the ID, which is the unique ID of the thing. Then how do we do We define default, it's a default value. So we want to auto. So there is a task ID, then there will be a title, which will be of string type, and there will be a that can be a description, which is again a string type, but it's optional. So with the question mark you define in the page now that if it's of new field of big part field, then there will be created as because we want to know what time we have created the task. So it's of date time. Should we define the default value? Yeah, let's define default value to be now. And that will be updated at. But this one gives you a directory to set the updated at by default. And then there will be a status, status of the task. So for the status, we're going to use status. Status is nothing but enum, which we'll define right now. Our status type and the default value goes to. So when you are creating a status, you want it to be. So yeah. So for the status types, you can define enums. Let's define a status enum which has two values, and we are defending hard done the completed done. Okay. So let's see what's the error here. So task ID validating model does the see how oh, I haven't defined what kind of uh, this. Okay. So in the to-do app, these all things we want. We want a task ID to identify individual tasks. We want title, description, created ad, updated ad, and the status which can be either pending or done. So initially, once you create a to-do, that should be a pending status. And once you want to mark it, that should be. so I will move it here. Okay, so there are no events as of now. There are no functions right now, or like because um, Godspeed ship one utility function called Fed API generator. So what it does is like it reads your Prisma file, the database model, and create the REST APIs for create, update, read, and delete. So let's open our Godspeed thing, the Godspeed project in a container. And then we'll do the rest of the things. The database modeling is done. We are already inside the container. Let's uh, push these uh, data models in this to the database. So you can use God speed, Prisma, PD push, and you have to define schema path. So schema is like from the source, it lies inside the source. So why we have to define it? Because you can use multiple databases. So yeah. So data sources and posters. So what exactly this command will do is like it will take read is not declaration and push these db changes to the data, actual database. So once you hit the enter, so the database is already in sync with the Prisma because I just did it a few minutes ago. And you so your database is up and ready. So now let's uh, so yeah, our database is in sync. Let's go and see, do we have any events? No, do we have any functions? We deleted all the exam points. Snapping, so you can ignore for now. Let's do this. So yeah, then for API is a utility, which will yeah, read your Prisma file, ask you for uh, which database you wanna generate that web functions. So here in my case, it's a purchase, and you're gonna generate the purchase. It says event and load flow to the data. So yeah, if you see here, it has events and records a uh, multiple database system. So you can, uh, it will create a folder called a post list and then the task, which is nothing but the name of the model. And then it will create four events, create, delete, one, search, and actually five events actually. And I got, uh, related to that, there will be functions which are getting called inside that. So yeah, I'm gonna see, maybe let's get to one. So one is like, it's a post list task. And you pass the task ID. So SPP type uh, SPP type event and so get call. So it fits a task, fits a task on the database. Internally, it is called con dot dot post this task dot one. And it takes param, which is of ID and path. Now oh, it should be task. All right. Sounds good. I think there is some problem with 
So let's build a project. What we do? Yeah. I just want to take a few seconds. It's gonna just install the package we in the and create a container. And let's say until it's happening. So let's start the Godspeed development server. We can start using Godspeed dev. Awesome. Uh, server is up and running. Yeah. So now you can go to localhost 3000. API dots. Right up. We have post, delete, dead, quote, and the search endpoint created for the God speed to, to do that. So, now you see, you can try things from here. There are already examples. Now this is to update. This is to create. Delete, put, post, and search. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good time developing the top speed.